If you're looking for a simple yet effective way to grow your website's traffic and keep your readers engaged, list articles can be incredibly helpful. These are versatile and easy to read pieces of content that can help you capture your audience's attention and keep them scrolling, sharing, and coming back for more. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build beautiful list articles on WordPress using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. Let's dive into it. Now, before we start, if you are into web design and online marketing and business building on WordPress, be sure to hit the subscribe button because here at Thrive Themes, that's pretty much the only thing that we like to talk about. Now, Thrive Theme Builder is the best WordPress tool to wireframe our WordPress website. We can use it to build out our own custom made themes and design each of its elements, such as our header, footer, blog page, and so forth and so on. But something else that I really like using Thrive Theme Builder for is to create custom post templates. These are wireframed blog posts for which we can create a design once and repurpose them over and over again with different content. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to wireframe our list article with Thrive Theme Builder, and then we're going to fill it up with some nice content using Thrive Architect. And in case you're new here, just a quick reminder, Thrive Theme Builder, as the name implies, allows us to build our WordPress themes. And Thrive Architect, on the other hand, is the page builder that allows us to build out our pages and blog posts without writing a single line of code. All right, so I'm going to try to replicate this article from BuzzFeed. 29 movies everyone needs to watch at least once in their life. As you can probably already tell, this type of content is great because it has relevant keywords in the title. It's very user intuitive. It doesn't make use of a lot of text. It simply relies on the title of the movie, an image to go along with it, and a quote from the movie being presented. This type of article is just a really good way of having people spend time scrolling down through your post, and hopefully by the end, or maybe throughout it, you can present them with your product or service and have them take action. All right, let's get building. Perfect, so I'm in the back end of my website. I'm in the back end of Thrive Theme Builder. And before we get started, just a quick reminder that if you're new to Thrive Themes, if you're new to Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect, and you still haven't installed the Thrive Themes product manager, and you haven't powered through the Thrive Theme Builder wizard, there is going to be a card popping up on your screen right now in the top right corner. If you click on it, it is going to take you to a tutorial where you can learn how to power through the Thrive Theme Builder Wizard and get your Thrive Themes product set up on your website. Awesome. So step one towards creating a new type of list post on our website is to first have a custom post template set up for it. And one last quick reminder, we want to be creating a new type of custom post template so that we can repurpose it over and over again for different types of lists on our website. So let's go ahead and get started. Now go ahead and click this add new button here on the top right corner. And we are looking to create a new type of single post standard template, all right? We're not looking to add in any fancy videos, audios, or images to our post. We just need a standard regular single post template. Let's go ahead and call it list article. And you know, we could start from scratch, but when I'm creating new types of custom post templates, I rarely start from scratch given that Thrive Theme Builder gives me so many different possibilities to start working from that you know, it just it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for me to spend a whole lot of time trying to rebuild my template from scratch when I already have a lot of the heavy work done for me by Thrive Theme Builder with all these different templates. So we're just going to go ahead and pick a template that kind of looks like the overall design that we're going after. So I'm thinking that this text only three option here is going to work for us. I mean, there is a sidebar in the left-hand column of the screen, which we don't want, but that's going to be easy enough for us to switch over to the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and pick this one. Awesome. And now that Thrive Theme Builder has created the template for us, let's go ahead and edit it. Great. So here we have, we have our new custom post template, which has a header, a sidebar, our main content area, which is going to get populated in with whatever content we put in with Thrive Architect, and then we have our main footer and of course a bottom section. Now I'm going to actually spend a little bit of time in the header here just to try to make it look a little bit more like BuzzFeed's um, overall design. All right, so let's go ahead and edit the header and let's pick out our new logo. Let's use BuzzFeed's logo. Now, if we take a closer look at what BuzzFeed is doing, they actually have a four column layout that they're using in their header. So let's actually go ahead and insert a new content box. I'm gonna put that underneath my main columns right now. 
and let's just center everything vertically speaking. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these paddings that this content box has introduced for me. And let's just insert our four column layout. Awesome. So in order to replicate BuzzFeed's header, we're going to need a header in the left-hand column. We will then insert BuzzFeed's logo right next to it, followed by a custom menu right in the, in the middle column. And then we need a search bar in the right-hand column. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a menu and just insert it in the left-hand column. Let's make it a standard drop-down menu. And we just need a basic menu for now. Now let's actually toggle the hamburger version of this menu. Let's grab BuzzFeed's logo and just drag it into the middle left column. Okay, that will do for now. We need another menu here. And again, let's just make it a standard basic menu. And we need our search bar. And in order to save a little bit of real estate screen, let's just use a two-step search bar. This one, for example. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the expanded search in the editor just for the sake of working with our header. And now let's just make sure that in the breadcrumbs, we select our four columns and let's just vertically align everything. Excellent. So this is starting to look a whole lot more like what BuzzFeed has going on in their header. I don't need my four column layouts to be exactly the same width. This sandwich menu doesn't need so much space as the custom menu in the right middle column, for example. So let me just squash that over to the left hand side. And we can do the same thing for our logo. And we probably don't need as much real estate screen for our search bar. Great. And now I'm just going to make sure I'm centering things horizontally speaking. Excellent. So this is starting to look a whole lot more like what BuzzFeed's header looks like. And we can now get rid of these top columns. We don't need these. And let's just bring down this, the height of the overall header a tad bit. Let's get rid of some of these margins. Yep, here we go. Let's bring these down to zero. And I think that if we just bring down a tad bit the size of the sandwich menu, let's make that 20 pixels. Yeah, it's starting to look a whole lot more like what BuzzFeed has going on. Excellent. So now that we have a working header, I mean, we obviously need to spend some time figuring out what our menu items are going to be and where they're going to be pointing to. But now that we have a working header, or at least the design, we can now start concentrating a little bit more on the main content of our post template. Awesome. So step number one is going to be to take this sidebar and move it over to the right hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do sidebar position right. Let's bring down the overall size of this title to 42. Great. And now let's just customize these breadcrumbs a little bit more to make them look a little bit more like what BuzzFeed has going on. So um, BuzzFeed does have an about the author section. So we can leave this here and they do have a comment count. So all of these things work fine. They just don't happen to have them in this order. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the author information sit right underneath the title. And then we're going to insert some share buttons here where the author information used to be sitting on. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do share buttons, social share. And let's just activate all of the different options where people can share these, this, these pieces of content. And something that I am noticing is that BuzzFeed is actually using a little bit of a hook text right underneath the main title. They're making use of a, a short line that just reads, these are must watches. So let's actually prepare a little bit of text right underneath our main title. And let's just type in these are must watches for now. And let's bring down this line height. And this is what our custom post template is looking like. We have a title, a short description that I'm going to teach you how to customize in a second, a little bit of information about the author, and some call to actions to share this article around alongside the comment count. And then, of course, we have our right-hand sidebar. And I'm not going to spend too much time customizing the sidebar. I mean, the sidebar is going to be a great place for you to insert product offerings and have people sign up to your newsletter and so forth and so on. 
So it really comes down to whatever product or services you're offering. You may put um, one thing or the other. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. What I do probably want to do is I just want to make sure that there's enough gutter width between the left-hand column, which is where our content area is, and the, and the sidebar itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and, in the breadcrumbs, pick out my content wrapper, and then I'm going to increase my gutter width to 120 pixels. That gives me a whole lot more breathing room in between my content area and my sidebar. Great. Now, if we scroll down to the very bottom, here we can see that we have a call to action to read some more articles, a section about the author, and a section where people can drop in a comment. Now, in order to replicate BuzzFeed's design, we don't actually need these previous and next articles. We can get rid of these. And we don't need the section about the author either. Instead, what we're going to do is have a call to action to share the article again. Since there are some social share icons above comments, let's talk about Pinterest and LinkedIn. And let's insert a little bit of text prompting people to share the article around. And last but not least, we're going to take this entire section and make it exactly like what BuzzFeed has going on. So instead of prompting people to opt in into our newsletter, we're just going to show them more relevant articles. So let's go ahead and choose a ready-made design. And here, Thrive Theme Builder is going to have a few templates for us to use as bottom sections. Let's just find one that recommends some more popular articles like this one. Great, so now we have a very strong foundation for all of our list articles moving forward. We've got a proper header, a sidebar, our main content area has been properly populated with relevant content, with the exception of this short description. Now, in order to make sure that we can customize this string of text for every future post that we work on, we're going to be using some dynamic content. So we're going to come to the very top here of the screen and using the dynamic toggle, Let's select the source to be coming from our main content. Let's make sure that we set this to post excerpt. And something cool that Thrive Theme Builder offers is to hide the excerpt if we don't happen to have one. So let's actually activate that for now. Great. Now, this is obviously not what we're going after, but I'm going to show you how to customize your post excerpt in a second. Now that we have a uh, template that we're happy with, we are ready to start working on filling it up with some content using Thrive Architect. So let's go ahead and do that. Great. So I'm in the back end of WordPress. I'm going to go ahead and create a new post and I'm going to go ahead and call it 29 movies. Everyone should watch at least once in their life. And right here in the right hand column, you're going to find a toggle called excerpt. And let's fill this up with these are must watches. This string of excerpt works great. All right, we're ready to start saving this as a draft. And let's open it up with Thrive Architect. All right, so we have our post opened up with Thrive Architect and it doesn't look like what we've been working on so far. So we need to make sure we tell Thrive Architect to activate the template that we've been working on. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make sure that this article is active. Great. And this is exactly what we're going after. So this is what our template looks like, right? Now we have this entire post content area that we can use to fill it up with some nice content. And you can see how my post excerpt is showing up just fine here. All right. So I'm going to speed run through filling this up with some content and I'll get back to you ASAP. All right, so I filled this up with a few movies in here, and let's be honest, I think there's even room for improvement in terms of, you know, taking BuzzFeed's original idea and making it better. Maybe like a one to three line analysis on why people should watch each movie would make it even more interesting. But yeah, you can kind of see how easy it is to build out as many lists as you want and how you can use this one template and repurpose it with as much content as you possibly want in a very simple and easy way using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. And that's about how easy it is to build out a nice list article on WordPress using the best tools in the market. Down the road, if we ever wanted to create a new list article, 
On a different topic, it would be even easier this time since we've already built out a nice template that we can repurpose again. We would simply need to create a new blog post, activate our list variable template, and you know, just fill it up with some nice content. So if you want to sign up for Thrive Suite to get access to Thrive Team Builder, Thrive Architect, Thrive Comments, and all of our conversion focused tools of plugins, be sure to click the link down below in the description box. I am going to be down in the comments section below. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. It has been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.